What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another Backrooms video here on the Brugly channel. Today, I'm continuing the series where I'm going over each Backrooms level from 13 to 50, and in this one, I'm going to be talking about level 47, or the Adderwood. For some reason, this level gives me extreme Lord of the Rings or Hobbit vibes, and I really like it, so I think you will too. Let's hop right into it without any further ado. Hey, that rhymed. So Backrooms Level 47 is classified as a Class 3 difficulty and is unsafe with a low entity count. The level itself is described as a primeval old forest, or a forest that seems to be as old as time itself. And this forest is extremely resistant to any changes made in the grounds or on their surrounding areas by humans which I'll touch on that effect in a few minutes. The trees here are tall, and most of them are way taller than 100 feet, and they're thought to be thousands of years old. On the base of the trees, and on the ground pretty much everywhere, there's moss and lichens, and they're just growing rapidly and covering most of the surfaces on this level. Inside of the forests, there has never been any direct sunlight because during the quote-unquote daytime, there is a thick fog that just rolls through the top of the trees, and it kind of clouds it from the sunlight above. But this fog will only stay during the daytime, and it actually disappears at nighttime. And when it does, you can see some kind of moon in the sky. It looks just like the moon from real life, but the main difference is that this one is way closer to you, so it's just closer to the atmosphere. You can also see stars in the sky, but so far, no constellations or anything recognizable have been found. This forest really cannot be mapped because it goes infinitely in every direction and there's also properties that prevent searching the level. These properties are the non-Euclidean features that are so common throughout all of the backrooms. But in this level specifically, parts of the forest can just shift and change at a moment's notice. And specifically, this can happen when you take your eyes off of something. It kind of acts like time reversal in a way. And this effect is how the level gets rid, quote unquote, of man-made alterations to it. So let's say you make a campfire in one certain spot, and then you walk away and you take your eyes off of it. Well, as soon as you do that and you look away from it, it could disappear and the entire area could look completely completely different, even though it was technically the same area you were just at. As you can imagine, this effect might make you think you're going crazy or walking in circles or something, so it's best to just try to stay level-headed. Along with the trees and the dirt and the rocks, there are also occasional streams and creeks that run throughout the forest. The water is safe to drink, as far as we know, and there are different types of fungus growing near it, like mushrooms and stuff, which can be eaten if you're really hungry, but some of those mushrooms may cause you to hallucinate, so eat with caution. As far as entities on this level, well, there are several, but there aren't really any entities that you'd see on any other levels, because here, there are things like snakes and birds and small mammals and frogs. So far, the creatures are like normal ones from real life, but instead of just being regular creatures, they have really weird anomalies that happen. Like, really weird. For example, if you unalive a snake, or if you hurt a snake at all on this level, then a giant red titanoboa will appear and will hunt you down until it gets you. And if you don't know what a titanoboa is, it's pretty much a massive, massive snake. And on this level, it's referred to as, quote, the Great Old Adder, or or just the Great Adder, and that's where the level gets its name from. Also, an adder is a small poisonous snake from real life, if you are wondering. But the Great Adder on this level is not small, it is huge, and it will try to get you. The old adder appears every time a snake is unalived or harmed, so if you're walking through the woods, make sure you don't do anything to snakes at all. So other than a massive snake, there are also packs of large black canids that roam the forest when it gets dark outside. Now these things are really aggressive and hunt humans. They're called black shucks or adderwood wolves, and they're kind of like more aggressive versions of dire wolves. They use really loud howls to communicate and to scout and to hunt their prey, and once the prey is chosen, well they all attack. The best way to not get eaten by one of these things is to climb to the highest tree possible and wait until the daytime, because in the daytime, they go back to their caves. There are also big bucks and doe deer, uh, but those are pretty boring and normal compared to a giant snake and a huge wolf pack. So. Now as far as bases and outposts go, uh, well this is where it gets kind of scary. 
Some wanderers have ran into a curvy, windy trail in the woods and have followed it for days and sometimes even weeks. The people who follow the trail obviously do it so they can try to find a way out of the level, but what they end up finding was a break in the trees that opens up into a field or a marshland. The trail then continues into that field and it leads to a huge manor house or sometimes an ancient old megalith looking thing. Both the house and the megalith exist at the same time, but it's creepy how it works. This area is the headquarters of a cult on this level called the Ophion Occult Order. Not much is known about them since they're extremely hostile and aggressive, but what is known is that they worship that giant adder snake from earlier as some sort of deity or god. So, yeah. This cult practices old, dark magic and can seemingly control things that aren't normal. They can sort of control the giant snake and convince it to go places, and they can also control control the black shuck wolves because they run away from a single cult member. Even if the entire pack of wolves is there, they won't attack, they'll run away scared. So yeah. These members often wander into the woods with big black cloaks on and are normally not too aggressive if you just walk past them, uh, but they can be if you make them mad. To enter this level, you can just get no clipped here. I mean, no one really knows how it happens and it's the same for the exits. No one knows how you get out, it just happens. But the most common no clip zone is through the dead trees that are on this level, so yeah. Some of the cult members claim that the trail on the level can be directly linked to real life. They also claim that they can control the trajectory of that trail and change where it ends at and change where it goes and turns, but this isn't confirmed. And who's gonna trust a cult? I mean, but yeah, if you wanna leave, just try to no clip into a tree if you can. That's it for the video, and thank you for watching this explanation of Backrooms Level 47. This level might be my favorite level now. I just really like how it's written, and the cult is literally just the cherry on top. I love how creepy and cryptic they are, and how they worship that giant snake and can control things, maybe? Kind of? I don't know. I really like it, and I hope you did too. Like I said, thank you for watching to the end of the video. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for the support. I love you all. I also just uploaded a reaction video over on my second channel, Toogly. The video is a reaction to a really funny exposed video about me that one of my good friends made. He brought up a clip of us playing video games eight years ago, and he is exposing my real voice. So if you want to see my really funny reaction, go check that video out. It's a banger. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, make sure to go check out the description for any links you want to my Discord, Twitter, all that stuff. Also, go check out my third channel, Spoogly. I just uploaded a video about some Trevor Henderson creatures that I think you will enjoy. Some awesome stuff's about to go up over there. The channel's growing like really crazily over there, and I really thank you all so much for that. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you later. Peace out.